Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 23rd of October 2024. I hope you are keeping well and enjoying life. Um, I've just finished work uh, but before that I was watching a, a, a YouTube, um, a, a video on YouTube and uh, <laughs> I mention this because I, it was a jaw-dropping moment for me. Uh, I often watch the David Pakman channel. I don't watch all of his videos, but I watch quite a lot of them. Uh, he has a kind of news channel, uh, which is pretty interesting at times. Uh, it's from a left perspective. I say left, you know, like a American left, let's say. I don't mean revolutionary type left. Quite pragmatic, quite reasonable, quite sane. And he's quite a logical person, I think. And uh, the title of the video was called something like Trump supporter grilled me and I changed it. I converted him or I changed his mind or something like that. I haven't got to the end of the program yet. I'm only halfway through but because uh, I had to stop to work. But uh, it is astonishing. So the setup is uh, this guy has a, a podcast and he invited David Pakman, who also has a, like a news channel slash podcast type thing to go on his show and be interviewed. And he asked him questions and it the questions are astonishingly ignorant it is just it is just jaw dropping the lack of knowledge about the person's oh i mean this is an american you know about the lack of knowledge of his own country's political systems and news events and everything it's like your he your head is empty where what what are you doing and he you know he said he watches right wing He's, 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 he's complained that his, well he didn't complain, but he said his YouTube feed is all full of right-wing stuff. Well, yes, of course, because you click on a few right-wing videos and that's what the algorithm will serve you. Um, nonsense, you know, conspiracy theories and nonsense. And it is, but it is astonishing. But he, you can see that he asks a question, he goes, oh, okay, really? Oh, okay, oh, really? I didn't, oh, really? Like this. <laughs> that's what the first half has been like. I suspect the second half is going to continue like that with just very basic, basic things. It's like, oh my God, you really don't know that? You're American and you don't know that. It's it's just astonishing to me. And I guess, you know, that's probably true of so many people in America, which is why they're in the mess that they're in. Uh, they're force-fed, you know, propaganda, I guess. That's it. Anyway, good luck, USA. I think you're going to need it. As I said, uh, the, you know, even if Kamala Harris wins, I think this, the fact that, the, that, that it's going to be quite close is a disaster in itself. It ought not to be in any way close. Mind you, it's not, new, it's not a new thing. I've been watching another uh, YouTube channel called Behind the Bastards, which is great, very funny. Uh, and uh, one about something called, uh, the, the title was called something, it was a four-parter. And it was called something like the f America's first fascist governor, and set like in the nineteen uh, talking about a uh, governor. Uh, I forgot his name now. Eugene, somebody or another from the nineteen thirties, and it is hilarious. But the the parallels to modern America are are so clear. Also, really worth watching all four parts. Very very good program. I'm always recommending other channels. Nobody recommends mine though. <laughs> Except maybe me. I should recommend my own channel. Uh, what are we doing here? Okay, so I've got three numbers over here, I think, because I've got five blocking that way, so that puts five into those squares, right? Oh, no, I'm wrong. Five and nine across here. I thought that was a two, but no, twos are in the middle there, aren't they? Uh, five and nine over here. Five there, nine there. Oh well, I should try to get going in a more logical way. Um, I haven't really started yet. I can't get into it. Let's see. Let's see what we've got possible. Uh, ones look like this. How do the twos look? Okay, three blocking up there, that'll give me a three here. So three's down there. So 
So what is missing here before I do anything else? Uh, five and six, so five blocking there, there's the five and there's the six. <coughs> six down here, six up there, six across there. So we're looking for three, four and five in those squares, so that's the threes there. Fives there and there, the fours, I don't know just yet. I think. Uh, what's missing up here? Three, four, seven, eight, three, seven. All right, let's go back to doing what I was doing before. Uh, ones. Five blocking these two squares here, five blocking this square, five blocking this square. So in the bottom row there's our five. Five up here, five down there, there's our five. So we're left here with three and four. Uh, one, so, and in these squares here, one, two, six, seven. Five across here, five down here, so that puts five into one of these two squares, blocking down here, down here, and five across there means that's a five. Uh, so we've got a pair of 6 and 8 across here, 6 and 8 across here, so that puts 6 and 8 into those squares just there. Does that help? Yes it does, because now the 5 blocks across here and 5 down here, so that gives me a 5 there. And 5 across here and across there, 5 up there. And 5 upwards to the top and across finishes the 5s. This is 6 and 8. Anything else I can get from it? Um,
到哪We've got eight down here and down here. Eight across here, eight down here, so eight in one of these two squares here, blocking up. And the eight across there. Eight blocking this square, eight blocking this square, eight blocking this square. So in this column there's our eight. across here and there and a nine up there puts nine in this square nine down here nine up there for a nine here puts 9 in that square Uh, missing numbers across here are 3, 4 and 7 I think. 3 and 7 are in the same column, that's going to be a 4. Missing numbers down here, 1, 2 and 8. We've got 2 and 8 in the same row, so that's going to be a 1. 2 then blocks this square here, so there's the 2 and this is the 8. Still 5 is the only completed digit so far. 2 blocks across here down here and across there so there's a two so now we have one and two blocking up here one and two blocking across there and one and two blocking across there so that those two squares can only contain one or two uh, it means that these squares are not one or two they have to be three or six we've got a six down here so that's going to be the three that must be the six uh, six blocks across there there's our six and the last number here is a seven seven across this way and this way or you just look across the row for the missing number if you prefer like we'll do up here with the something what's missing here everything seems to be there three I think
seven blocking down here and seven across here or rather just make the seven blocking this square we need a seven in this column let's put the seven there and the missing number here is three three across here three down there puts three into that square three across here and three blocking down puts three into that square Still only got five. Uh, three across here, across there, and down there. So three should join five as a finished item. Okay, it does. Four blocking down there. There's the four four across there there's a four this will be a one one up here one across there there's a one one across here and there there goes a one two blocking down here puts two into that square four blocks across here means that's a four this is a seven four blocking across here puts four here and this is going to be a two two across here and there there's a two two blocking up there there's a two this is a one one to the bottom one across there there's a one one across here there's a one missing number here is seven seven this way that way there's a seven Missing number here is eight, I think. Eight blocking up here and across there, there's an eight. And what's to be done? Six in this row here. Six blocks down there, there's a six. This column uh, this co column with a nine and this entire grid finishes with a nine. There we go. That's our LA Times expert level puzzle for uh, Wednesday. And uh, take care. I'll see you another time. Bye-bye.